have you ever thought to yourself, I would like to know more about Gig Harbor? Who's gonna show me? We are. Okay, <laughs> sounds good. Let's jump in the car and take a tour. We're Joan Charity with the Live Well Home Group and we help people like you every day looking to relocate to our area. If you're thinking about moving here, click the link in the description below and jump on our calendars or just message us directly. So why do people love living in Gig Harbor? I know why, because there really is no reason not to love living in Gig Harbor. Absolutely true. But the first reason we will just give you some anyways is because it is a small, quaint, picturesque, beautiful town. Yes. Yeah, if you think about living on a, the water in Puget Sound and a cute little town, whatever comes to mind, and cuter, you probably are getting pretty close. Quaint. Adorable, Wait. all the words in the, the in the thesaurus, all the all words in the thesaurus. Put in sequentially <laughs> or randomly. Either exactly. Way. Yeah, they're there. And it's also really safe. It, it's truly safe in every way. I don't want to say people don't lock their doors. You may not have to. <laughs> you should probably look but, up the crime rates. But after I just said that, but look up the crime rates. Yeah, yeah, you'll be surprised. It is, it is a very safe place to live. Yeah. Number three is there's great ways to get involved in the community, mm -hmm. all kinds of events. Of course, you want to be outside enjoying the beautiful surroundings. Mm -hmm. So they've got all kinds of things going on. So you, you literally can be as busy as you want to be. Yeah. Really or not good. busy as you want to be, because both are options, because it's Sit on your deck and look at the clouds roll Sitting by. Sitting on the dock of the bay. Exactly. Yeah, just like, just like that. <laughs> Why did somebody make a song out of that? I wonder if they should. I think they should. I think they did, possibly better than that. Yeah. Well, let's jump into the history because it's always fun to learn how these little towns got started in our area. And this and one. sit right back and we'll tell you a tale. A tale of a fateful ship. Huh? You know where I'm going with that? All my older people know in Gilligan's <laughs> Island? Well. Gig Harbor got his name because Captain Charles Wilkes was in the middle of a storm and he went and got in his gig, little boat, and rowed it into the harbor. And ah. they then named it later on Gig Harbor. See? That was it, simple. It was a tale of a fateful trip, though. But he landed in a good spot. He did. Well, I mean, he didn't land. He harbored there. Harbored there. That's all the history you're going to get. But you can go to the <laughs> history museum there. And That's get the fun a part of the history. More. There's lots more history that you can get. Probably not as fun of a tale that you'll get from them and probably more inclusive. Too bad we didn't have a Gilligan hat. I felt that like would we, have been good. <laughs> we we Let's have. move on from here. Let's talk about traffic and getting around. So if there were to be one thing that would detract from how wonderful Gig Harbor is, it would just be that there's a toll bridge yeah. between Tacoma and Gig Harbor. Yeah, that would be the only thing because traffic is basically non-existent when you're in Gig Harbor. But getting over to it from the Tacoma, Seattle area, or you have to go up the other way, jump on a ferry. Uh, so if you're trying to head into Seattle, there's not a lot of options, maybe only two, to get back over to Seattle. And both of them are gonna cost you something. So that's the only only distraction yeah. from wanting to live there. Yeah, that's yeah. about it. That's, but a, that's besides really that, it. There's no traffic. There's so really no traffic. Yeah, you're it's good a to go on that. enjoyable community. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Yeah. So thankfully we can move on from traffic quickly. Yeah. and let's move on. <laughs> Just because there is none. See, we went right through it. Let's talk about the parks and outdoors. So Gig Harbor has a whopping 21 parks, mm -hmm. which is a lot. A lot of them are actually on the water. Fishman Trail is a 6.2 mile park that cruises by several of the parks, including Wilkinson Farm Park, which has wetlands and all kinds of wonderful yep. things to see. So if you're interested in getting out in your kayaks or your paddle boards, you're definitely gonna wanna go to Kopachuk State Park. You can also do a little shell fishing there. So much fun. Yeah. So if you want to stay off the beaten path and you want to stay on the water, well, you can paddle yourself out to Cut Island State Park. It is not accessible by any other ways than watercraft. That's pretty cool. Half you know, a mile. Half a mile. So if you're up to it, bring your water, bring a donut, you know, all of the things, because there's some shopping that you're going to want to carry out there. Uh, it's Maybe a great a place. picnic. A picnic. Yes, that would be nice. With donuts. Pretty cool. So getting on the water is kind of the theme of Gig Harbor. So we want to tell you a little bit more about all the places where you can rent yep. boats. So you can get your kayaks and your paddle boards for sure from SUP. And then you also can take a gondola ride. I did not know that you could take a gondola ride sure. anywhere besides Venice. Well, I assume that there's other places outside of Vegas. I didn't think so. <laughs> Vegas you can't do. Oh, yeah. yeah. Steak Venice. Like but here you can go on a gondola ride. Mm. It's beautiful. It is really beautiful. Gig Harbor is beautiful. And it's just another way to experience the beauty of it. And then charter boats. You mm -hmm. can take you and your friends on up to 34 friends on a charter boat. Mm -hmm. 
sightseeing, touring, all kinds of things. And you can rent electric boats. There yep. is a lot to do on the water and Underwater. lots of opportunities. So after, you know, a long day paddle boarding in your electric boat, cruising around, somebody fishing around in gondola, you might be thinking, you know what? I'm getting thirsty and I'm getting hungry. And we've got some good options for you for your afternoon or evening delights. That's right. So the most quintessential restaurant would be Tides because it's right on the water. So you are, you can pull your boat up there actually and get off and go to eat. So that's the place to be. Yeah, it is really amazing. However, I also like the Gourmet Burger Shop. They've got really great burgers. It's good eats. You're gonna leave full. Uh, it's kind of a little fun. Last time we ate there, Joe was like, this is the best burger I've ever had. That's really so, true. That's what I thought. That's a challenge. I guess I've, you should go try it. I like I've eaten a lot of burgers in my life. <laughs> <laughs> Susan's Bakery and Deli is also one of our favorites. Yes. Anything with the word bakery, bakery in, in it, it is, is our favorite. Is our favorite. <laughs> we don't even really care what you do. It just, it's going to be one of our favorites no matter what. Yeah. And you're thinking to yourself, gosh, I've had a lot of snacks. I've had a burger. You know what I really need? I need a little stiff drink. Well, <laughs> Heritage just, Distillery is there right on the water. It's a great little place, local distillery. Got some good options for some bourbons and such. So mm -hmm. definitely check that out. Then you have Wet Coast Brewery. And it's not necessarily in the downtown part of Gig Harbor, just up the road a little bit, but it is a great place for sure that you're gonna to wanna to stop off because they got lots of great brew options for you. All right, let's talk about shopping. Yep. Downtown, of course, like any cute downtown, you're gonna have cute shops. Yep. So there's a lot of great ones down there and also some art, art galleries. Art galleries, really. Fly so fishing shop. Fly fishing shop, kayak shop. You can buy a kayak. You don't even have to rent things. That's right. Really great little kayak shop. Now they're guys super knowledgeable, help you out in all the ways for sure. Yep. And then of course, up the hill, not in the downtown part, you've got Costco and Target, those type of things. Cause you know, well, if you didn't know where Costco is in Target. <laughs> exactly right. And the grocery stores. <laughs> and the grocery shop. I don't know where that's at too. Who cares about that? You got enough restaurants, just eat there. <laughs> <laughs> Let's talk about some events because as we said at the beginning, there's a lot to do a here. lot to do and by a lot to do it just starts with of course <laughs> the beer festival it has got a lot of local breweries it's gonna have all of your options everything to kind of explore and you know being a beer guy myself you've got options so Sounds you know, fun. yeah it takes take your time then you've got the maritime gig festival which is car show vendors artists Preston, all, the all kinds of stuff, food, of mm -hmm. course, but oh. all kinds of fun. And then you've got the Gig Harbor Summer Art Festival where there's glass blowing and painting and artists and you get to experience all of it hands-on and see amazing things that people do. All wonderful. Yeah, all wonderful all summer. Yeah. And of course, then you have the Farmer's Market and the Outdoor Concert Series. Yeah, so you've got a lot going on. So much fun and it doesn't stop even when the weather gets cold because at Christmas time, you've got the Christmas boat parade. <laughs> it's, this is why it's just charming. There okay. is something to do every time of the year right. on the water, surrounding the water, because that's just that's Kick Harbor. That's Kick Harbor. Most of you probably want to know about the schools too, so it's always important to talk about that. And all we can say is... They're amazing. <laughs> they're just amazing. Go ahead and take a look <laughs> online at all the schools and their ratings. I'm sure you're going to find out that it's a great place to live. So if this sort of living sounds great to you, you probably want to know what can I buy there? So we're going to show you what kind of home you can buy and at what price point. All right. All right. Let's show you what we got. So we've got currently 114 homes on the market. And as you can see, starting at only $229,000 <laughs> for a little condo, 592 square feet, little condo. <laughs> but let's see what we Adorable. go up to. Adorable. Let's yeah. see what we go up to. But we do go up from there. Up to $5 million. We do. We're, We're going to give options. you a look at that because I know you're curious. I'm curious. <laughs> Actually, I've looked at it. <laughs> So this is what you're going to find throughout Gig Harbor is there's going to be really a range. It's going to start probably to get something that's outside of a condo and a single family is in that 600,000 range. It's kind of going to be the entry level point. And this is going to be typical of what you're going to find for that. It's older what, home. Older home, mm -hmm. surrounded, obviously just surrounded by trees. It's really gorgeous, but it's a nice home in the area. It's a great place to live. Um, yeah, it's got, it's actually on a half an acre. So mm -hmm. to have a half an acre mm -hmm. in Gig Harbor with updates on an older home for this price, $650,000 is, is great. It's really good That's price. A great upgrades. In a made. nice home. Absolutely. Cute. For sure. Cute, cute, cute. Love it. All right, we're gonna jump up a little bit so we can get to that five million. <laughs> so this one's at eight hundred and seventy-nine thousand, a little over three thousand square feet. Mm -hmm. Yeah, new construction or newer construction, really great shape, move-in ready. Obviously, can have a small yard, not a lot to maintain, uh, but it's a really great place to entertain mm -hmm. and uh, have friends and family it's over. A big fridge. Big fridge. 
seems to be the thing these days. I know. It is. (laughs) Instead of having the second fridge, you just have a double second right there. Double it, baby. This is a gorgeous house. This is a really gorgeous house. 879. 879. Oh my gosh. Loving it. Loving it. Everything about it. Perfect. Okay, so this is gonna be that next step up and you're gonna find new homes and maybe some older ones at the same price point. This is gonna be a little bit bigger lot. Uh, Sometimes you'll find that in areas like this in Gig Harbor where you have a little bit of space around you, but this is a really wonderful home for the price. Very unique. This one's Mm 979,000 and it looks, it doesn't look as grand on the outside as it does on the inside. Yeah, it's it's really cute. They've done a great job like with their updating. It's a beautiful staircase. And that fireplace is gorgeous. Mm -hmm. Look Look at the trees out there. It's quintessential quintessential yeah updated kitchen Mm -hmm. it's very wooded in gig harbor so when you're not right on the water a lot of the properties are yeah it's it's wooded yeah Mm -hmm. and that is something if you're moving to the area that you kind of have to get used to with the with the northwest is we do have some cloudy days we do have some drizzly days and you're going to get just feel like sometimes you're in the woods obviously not all this has been updated (laughs) but that's awesome room to improve room to improve but a lot of it is Really great place to live. What a cool place. I know. I could live there. Yeah. Oh, look Our at those wheels. swinging doors. <laughs> <laughs> Love it. Awesome. Let's look at the outside. Mm-hmm. Big deck. Big Tons deck. of property. Mm-hmm. Love it. Loves. All right. So here's 1.4. Uh, this is a little bit bigger home. Once again, it's very gorgeous. Landscaped yard. Beautiful home inside and out. Holy yeah. smokers. This one's 4,700 square feet. So just more enough, space. Just enough for you and a little puppy dog. <laughs> just enough. <laughs> just nice barely. Place. I know. Just such nice features to it. It's a really beautiful home. It's got all the space in the world. All the extra things that you would assume that you'd want and home at this price point. It's got it. It does. And it's on a large lot as well. Yeah. Very large lot. Wow. That's a very big room. That is huge. Mm-hmm. I love it. I like the lights. Yep. Loving it. Loving it. Space for everybody. So much space. And if you didn't want to actually see your guests, you could just put them up somewhere. Put them there? Put them there. (laughs) (laughs) Love it. All right, so Gig Harbor has some little islands around it that are connected to it by bridges, and this is one of them. And this home happens to be on the water. Now, this is great because waterfront anywhere in this area obviously is going to be pretty expensive but this is a wonderful home and the views are head out towards the Olympic Peninsula so you're going to get those mountain views as opposed to Mount Rainier and this is really gorgeous oh my gosh gorgeous sunset, gorgeous sunset. it's an older home built in mm-hmm. 1966 but it's a lot of square footage yeah a lot here. of square footage a really big lot that goes down to the water that you you know it's kind of a mid-range bank but it does have water access very easily so it could use some updating, but mm-hmm. you get the water yeah. and, oh, look at that fireplace. That's a very cool mid-century. Yeah. Really gorgeous. Love it. And let's get some more of those outside yeah. photos. That's honestly at 1.5, this is what you're paying for. Um, and it is worth every penny if you're like me and love the water. Yes, exactly. Yeah. So because I love to look at expensive homes and I do this all the time, this one is amazing. Absolutely gorgeous house on the water. Um, it this looks is picturesque. This a five million dollar one. Five million bucks, this is what you're gonna get. And mm-hmm. you have a view of just everything, anything gorgeous. you'd ever want to. What a beautiful home. Yeah, imagine pulling up to that every night, right? Holy smokes. There's Mount Rainier. I know, you've got it. I mean, the, the view today didn't have all the all the pictures of sometimes it's just gorgeous and huge. And it was there poking its head out, but man. Wow, oh, that's amazing. I know. <laughs> <laughs> this is it. This is the one. This is the one. Let's this is the winner. It. Let's do it. Let's go take a look at this. Somebody's got to be watching this that wants to take a tour of that home. That's right. Hit me up because I will tour that home with you. Uh, and I'm going to be amazed because it's gorgeous. Wine a couple cellar. bottles of wine there. Yeah. For all of your friends and family mm. and parties. So good. Oh my gosh. Amazing. Wow. Mm-hmm. Amazing. That's the secondary it house. It is a secondary house because sometimes you don't want people close to you. That is amazing. So if you're thinking Gig Harbor does look like the perfect place to live, we would agree with you and we would love to help you. Every week we help people just like you buy and sell homes in this area and all throughout Washington. We've made it easy for you to connect to us. Just click the link in the description below and jump on our calendar or message us directly.